Hi guys, Trev here with another episode of Mac in 10 or less and today I'm going to be reviewing an app that I use for basic maintenance and optimization just to kind of help keep my computer running quickly and efficiently pretty much all the time. So here it is, it's called Onyx. Like I said, it's a maintenance and optimization tool and it's completely free but you cannot get it on the App Store. You'll have to come to this website and I'll leave a link to the website in the description for this video. So um, just scroll down and click that link. Um, Onyx is an operating system specific application, meaning if you have Snow Leopard, you'll have to download a different version than if you have Mountain Lion, or if you're running uh, Mavericks like I am, the latest operating system, then it'll be a bit of a different version. So if you don't know how to find out what your operating system is, come up here to your Apple and click About This Mac. This window will pop up and you can see 10.9.2, so I'm running Mavericks. Um, we can close that. So if you are a 10.9 um, version, 10.9.1, .2, any of that, uh, you'll click this and you'll see a little download icon go into my downloads folder. If you are running 10.8 or 10.7 or 10.6 or anything earlier, you'll scroll down the page and you'll click on any of these, for example 10.7 and it will just automatically go into your downloads folder. So I can quit that and we'll come over here and you'll have a DMG, you'll just click it to open it. Really easy. Um, you're gonna need to open a new finder window and you're gonna drag this icon on top of applications and let go. So right here on top of applications you just drag and drop it in there I'm not going to do that because I already have the program downloaded. So let's open the program by looking for it in Spotlight. And there it is. When you open the program, you are going to need administrator privileges. So I'll just enter my password right there. And it's going to ask you to check your smart status. We're going to hit cancel because we're doing that later. Um, same thing with verifying structure of the volume. We're going to do that later, so we won't do it now. Over here is a help center with, again, the license agreement, and then there's some FAQ and just some general tips. You can scroll through here and read about it if you like. Uh, I just close it. So here's our main menu bar right here, and there's all these tabs on the top, um, but the only one we're going to concern ourselves with is automation. And the reason we're only using automation is because automation tab will do everything in these other tabs for us and it will do it all at once so we don't have to go through one one by one and do everything individually and makes it a lot easier. So again we're gonna have the smart status and the structure of the system files are going to be verified. Um, so that was the thing that it asked us to do right at the start, but we're doing it right now, so we don't want to do it twice. That's why we hit cancel before. Next, we're going to repair permissions throughout our computer, and we're going to execute maintenance scripts. If you don't know what maintenance scripts are, they're over here under the maintenance tab and under scripts. And these are daily scripts, weekly scripts, and monthly scripts, and they are basically protocols that are run on your computer automatically to help your computer stay say quick and efficient basically and so the daily scripts run every day and the weekly scripts run once a week and etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, through this program you can basically run them whenever you want to if you feel like your computer is running a bit slow a little bit slowly you can come over here and click execute but we have them checked off in our automation tab so we're going to execute them at the same time as we do all this other great stuff under the rebuilding tab uh, we're going to rebuild some things. One of the more important things like Spotlight Index. Uh, so we want to re-index re our computer and that way when I come up here to Spotlight and I search for something it's going to search my entire computer. It's not going to miss anything so that's important. I don't have mails and mailboxes checked and the reason I don't have this checked is because I don't use the mail program. So here it is. If you use this program then you might want to do that but I don't so it is, it's a waste of time for me to have this checked so I just don't use it. And then cleaning, we're going to de basically delete system cache, user cache, font cache, and all of these are 
They're basically short-term memory for individual programs or users or systems. And they're things that are unimportant that you don't really need and take up extra space on your hard drive. Um, so getting rid of those will help your computer move a little bit more quickly and a little bit more efficiently. So we're going to get rid of those, like web browser cache and history. That's data that we don't really need. The one that I don't have checked is automatically saved versions of documents. And the reason I don't have this one checked is, for example, when I was in college, I'd be working on a Word document, and it automatically saves a version every 10 minutes or so. And that way, if the computer crashes, you don't lose what you were just working on. Um, so in the rare event that something like that would happen, I don't want to lose what I was just working on. So I don't have this checked because I don't want to delete those. Um, and then the one other thing that I should go over is here in the cleaning tab under internet. This one, form values and cookies. All of these can be checked, but I don't check form values and cookies. And if you read this little exclamation point, it'll tell you why. But basically these two items are responsible for saving usernames and passwords at websites. So when I go to Facebook, I don't have to type in my username and password. It's automatically typed in there for me and I just hit the login button. And that way it's nice and quick um, and I don't have to remember uh, all my specific passwords. So you can choose to have those checked if you want and delete, delete your passwords, but no one but me gets on my own computer, so I don't mind. I would like to have those those username and password saved. Other than that, pretty much everything can be um, checked off throughout throughout this. And we'll go back to the automation tab. So those are the only two things I don't have checked in here. And once you do that, you basically just hit execute. And I would I would suggest walk away from your computer. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. So you go take a shower, go make lunch, go do something for 15 minutes, then come back. Um, and it's actually going to quit all open applications to make sure that it can do a very thorough job of cleaning your computer. So I won't be able to record this, but I will hit continue and then I'll see you guys in a few minutes when it's done. Alright guys, so after you hit continue, you will be shown this screen where you basically have a loading bar of all the tasks that's going to occur. And at this point you cannot run any programs on your computer, you can't surf the web or look through Facebook or anything. So like I said, you know, find something else to do for 10 or 15 minutes, take your dog for a walk or whatever. Um, but yeah, once this, um, once this loading bar finishes everything that it needs to do, you'll see this screen basically just says the automation is finished. Um, so just go ahead and click OK and you'll be taken to the next screen, which is right here. Um, so it basically just says that your commands have been executed and everything went smoothly. And at this point you can either restart or shut down your computer. I usually like to restart it and just give my whole computer a fresh restart. Um, otherwise I guess you can just close it if you would prefer if you have something that you really need to do. But I would recommend giving it a restart and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment sections below. And if you want any further information on the Onyx application, you can visit out, visit my website. I've written up a whole there's a whole long article with detailed explanations of each individual function. So if you have more questions, you can visit my website and I will leave a link in the description as well. And that's it. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.